Atomic Energy of Canada here. There's some uh, funds been put forward for the Department of Defense, from the Department of Defense to various organizations in the Canadian Safety and Security Program. And, and with the supplementary estimates, there's, uh, you know, as I mentioned, the, the D&D for Canadian Safety and Security Program. So in January, the Swedish Security Program Service rather announced an investigation of drones at three of their nuclear power plants. They have also been reported uh, reports over the years of other unknown drone type flying objects flying over Canadian nuclear facilities. Uh, in the security that we're in today, and it's been recently announced in the United States, legislation has just passed in their National Defense Authority Act, Authorization Act rather, for the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to report the quote, number of incidents and descriptions thereof of unidentified aerial phenomena or drones of unknown origin association with nuclear power generation stations nuclear fuel storage sites, or facilities regulated by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, end quote. So I'm just wondering if any of the department uh, officials are aware of the legislation that was just passed in the U.S. Congress regarding these specific clauses. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chair, for the question. I, I must admit I am not familiar with that. I can say, however, that overall security of the of our nuclear facilities is obviously something that's of extraordinary importance, um, including through the, the regulators' functions. Thanks. Uh, I'll, I'll send you the information. Thank yeah, you. We'll make it available to you. And have you received reports on these drones uh, or unidentified aerial phenomena near Canadian nuclear facilities? I have not. Um, so... I guess, uh, can you ask your officials to inquire and report back to the committee in writing uh, anything they know about them? We can do so. Okay, yes. thank you. And are reports of violations reported in and around nuclear facilities publicly disclosed? I, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Chair, perhaps I could turn to one of my colleagues who is more directly responsible for nuclear. Uh, uh, Molly Johnson may have more detailed information with respect to that question. Molly? Thank you. And... and Thank you for the question. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So I, I would say that um, the security and safety and security is, of course, the one of the top priorities and we're considering nuclear. The the We can check and confirm on the drone issue specifically and uh, the reporting that's available and get back to you. Uh, with its allies, with partners in, of the United States, as appropriate to better assess the nature and extent of unidentified aerial phenomena. I believe it would be prudent for the Atomic Energy of Canada to proactively reach out to their American counterparts to discuss this legislation and to inquire how they are handling these reports and investigations. Would you be open to reaching out to the, new, the American Nuclear Regulatory Commission to start this important conversation? We certainly take that under advisement. 